Fellow VR gamers, welcome back. You guys really liked my Pavlov knife tutorial, so today we're gonna master another weapon, the PP Bison. Now the PP Bison is an absolutely underrated killing machine. Heavy damage, high ammo capacity, high fire rate, and more. There's no wonder this beautiful weapon is one of my favorites. Now, let's get right into it so you can get right into the battlefield. First, we're gonna talk about stats. Boring, I know, but stay with me for this. Under 25 meters, the PP Bison does 20 damage per hit. If you're further than this, damage is reduced to 19. If you're further than 28 meters, it does 18 damage. Finally, if your target is more than 31 meters away, you'll only be doing 17 damage. The difference in damage here isn't huge, but it still could make the difference between life or death. So if possible, try to stay around 20 meters away from your target. In terms of applied damage, you can kill an armored enemy with 6 shots, and an unarmored one with only 5. Like all weapons, the PP Bison is an insta-kill to an unhelmeted head. But the existence of a helmet should not cause you much more trouble, as it only takes 2 headshots to eliminate a helmeted individual. The Bison's armor penetration is 60%, which is quite a unique trait, since all the other SMGs, except for the FAMAS, have armor penetration of only 10%. The FAMAS, like the Bison, also has armor pen of 60%. To kill an enemy with armor, you will need 0.425 seconds, and to kill an unarmored opponent, it will only take 0.34 seconds. That's so fast you could kill a lot of enemies in the time it would take to make a sandwich or open a Barks root beer. The PP Bison has an ammo capacity of 45, plus one in the chamber. This is only five rounds less than the P90, which due to its high fire rate of 1,200 feet per second, is used up far too quickly. The fire rate of the Bison, on the other hand, is 705, fast enough to make it incredibly viable, but not so fast as the empty your magazine after only a few enemies. Out of all the SMGs, the PB Bison has the highest bullet velocity, going at 1,640 feet per second. This can be a massive help at longer ranges, as you can aim for where they are instead of where you expect them to be. Now, technically the FAMAS does have a higher bullet velocity of 2,312 feet per second, but Wikipedia says it's not an SMG, so we are not counting it. In terms of attachments, the PP Bison only accepts a suppressor, so if you wanted a grip to reduce your recoil, or a red dot to help you aim, you're out of luck. This makes the skill floor for this gun much lower compared to others, but if you can familiarize yourself and master it, then you will be an absolute killing machine! Finally, the PP Bison only costs $1,400 making it on the cheaper side of the Pavlov weapon. In addition to this, the Bison also gives you a $600 kill bonus in Search and Destroy. This is double the kill bonus of the AK-47 or M4, so using the Bison not only saves you money, but it makes you cash as well. That's it for staff. Now on to strategy and viable situations. There are a multitude of strategies and situations one might use the Bison for. So let's take a look at what works, and what doesn't. While the Bison is designed to be a short to mid-range weapon, it is also quite viable in really close and further than usual situation. Here on the map 1v1 me bro, you see that the Bison is slaying, even though this kind of map is usually more designed for shotguns. Here on this map you will see that while these distances aren't all that far, they're still further than you would generally use an SMG, yet the Bison is holding it though. Yes, an M16 or a Barrett M99 would be better here, but those guns are designed for long distances, whereas the Bison is not. A good rule of thumb is if you think an AK-47 or AK-12 would be viable at this range, then so would the Bison. Dual wielding. Everyone wants to do it. You see the rascals with their two Barrett or two M950s, but you never see people rocking the dual Bison. This is probably because it doesn't work all that great. 
Don't get me wrong, you can get some great kills at ranges of 15 meters or less. But after that, getting kills with the dual bison becomes difficult. Even at those closer ranges, though, a singular bison would serve you better. So, dual bison aren't bad. They can be pretty tall for the meme. But, uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Stick with one. Just, just stick with one. Cover fire. Need to keep someone pinned down? The bison is a great choice for you. The usual gun chosen for this job is the M249. But the thing is, outside of keeping the enemy pinned down, it's not all that great. Will the bison do as good a job as the M249? No. But that's because it's also a really good gun. Coolness. Perhaps the most important aspect of any weapon. Don't worry though, because the PP Biden has cover. In aesthetics alone, this is a beautiful weapon. Long and black. Truly majestic. Its name is perfect for making jokes with the boy. I mean, it's literally called the PP Bison. Need I say more? The Bison has the best tactics in all of Tavla, at least if you have an index. Shooting this gun feels like a badass massage of murder for your head. Uh, that's all the points I really have. So in the name of runtime, here's some epic PP Bison facts you can scream at your opponents to disorientate them. Did you know the PP Bison was developed in 1993 by the Russian company Izmash? I bet you didn't. It was designed by a team of engineers headed by the son of the engineer that designed the AK-47. Pretty cool. All right, that's all the fun facts I got. After watching this, I want to estimate eight minute video. You should be an absolute master at the Bison. You are now an unstoppable force. Congratulations. So next time you need to kill a mug root beer fan in Pavla, consider using the PP Bison. Like and subscribe. Let's hit a higher number, baby!